Hello everyone. I'm Deepali working in the HCL Unica team. Today I'm going to walk you through the scheduler console client utility of HCL Unica platform. This utility is used to, to uh, send the external triggers to Unica schedules. This utility is available under the platform installation. I'm showing you the exact location of this utility. So inside the platform installation, there is a directory called tools and there is another directory bin inside the tools directory. This bin directory has various utilities from Unica platform and scheduler console client is one of those utilities. So as I explained, mentioned earlier this utility can be used to send external triggers to unica platform schedules and then the schedules can start running uh, this utility is a batch file batch script which has code to call the scheduler of unica platform and this utility can be called from some external batch script used by a third party program for today's demo, I have created a simple schedule in Unica platform with a name as run on TRG1 and my flowchart is having a name as scheduled flowchart. Let me show you the schedule which I have created. This is the name of the schedule and if you can see here, the when to start field shows it to be running on a trigger with name as trig1. Thus, this schedule will start running when it receives a trigger with name as trig1. Now, this trigger with name trig1 can be sent using the scheduler console client utility, which I'm going to show for now. The scheduler console client utility has two options which can be used. One is with the minus V option, which will list down all the schedules which are listening on a given trigger name. For example, in this command, which I'm showing on the screen, this minus V option will show me a list of schedules which are listening on this trigger with name as trig1. This minus T is for the trigger name. So let us run this command to see which all triggers or which all schedules are present and listening on trigger trig1. You can see this utility is printing some log and then it has finished running with the minus V option, which has listed the tasks which are listening from for this trigger with name as trig1. The task name is run on trig1 and the task ID is 61. So this name is exactly what we see in the UI for the schedule name. Now I will send a trigger using this utility for sending a trigger. You need to use the. Parameter as minus S. So the name of the utility scheduler console client dot sh, then the parameter minus S, then minus T with the name of the exact trigger which you want to send to Unica application and the username who will be sending this trigger into the application. So let me run this command. And in meanwhile, I will just refresh my. Scheduler runs page to check if a schedule has got triggered. It is not yet shown on the screen. Let us go back to the command line. You can see this trigger was sent is shown as true and the command has completed successfully and there are no errors shown. Now let us go back to the UI to see the latest 
run of the schedule. Here you can see the schedule with name run on trig1 is now shown in the queued state, which means it has received the trigger from the console client utility and hence it has queued this particular flowchart to run. And the flowchart has started running. Thus, using this scheduler console client utility, we can send out external triggers to Unica platform system so that all the schedules which are listening on the particular trigger will get started or will get triggered in the UI. This was all about the scheduler console client utility. Thank you.